Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Live starts now. Hi everyone, welcome to Houston Live. It is Friday Eve. Cheers to that. That was a nice little reveal, wasn't uh -huh, it? I like it. Just in time, because I am so thirsty, Courtney. Very thirsty. Hi everybody, we are so glad to have uh, you with us today. This is a Sauv Blanc, compliments of Tangie Patton of Good Taste TV. A very, very good happy hour segment coming up a little bit later on in the show. Tangie always brings the good. She sure does. She sure does. I can't wait to take a sip, uh, but first I have to do a little bit of talking. So it is so toasty outside. We figured we would toast mm -hmm. the summer weather from margaritas to frozen treats. We just mentioned her. There she is, this beauty right there, Tangie Patton of Good Taste TV. She has all kinds of ideas for our next happy hour, Courtney. Okay, guys, then listen up. We have home design hacks to freshen up your space for way less. We have expert tips that will make your home look like it's out of a magazine. Look at those beautiful spaces. Two expert designers coming up. Also, Joe Sam is blasting off at Space Center Houston with a special look at the Moon to Mars Festival that kicked off today. And have you heard? A big movie is about to hit the theaters, and Lauren Kelly, oh my gosh, run, Lauren, what? run! Look out. Oh, no, no. Uh, I thought that I would be chatting <laughs> with the stars, the main stars from Jurassic World Dominion. They're here, you guys. We're going to talk about all, of, all about tomorrow's big movie release a little bit later on in the show. If they don't bite me or eat me first, <laughs> you Oh no, Lauren. Run, run. Lauren, run. <laughs> they look dangerous. Okay. Very nice. Before we get Very into real. that, very realistic. I know, mad props to our costume department today that we don't actually have. Before we get into that, how about a look of today's sizzling forecast, I would say. Yes, it's I sizzling. know. sizzling. Hot, 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 Frank. Yes, just like you two. I'll tell you oh. what. I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> so I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> now I'm kidding that I'm kidding. So you don't think we're hot? Uh, you're I'm totally confused. Hot. Can now, we start I over? I don't know about vino <laughs> for hydration, but whatever, as long as you are happy and cool and not sweating too much, right? It's yeah. hot outside. Okay. okay I mean, it's dangerous. Here. Everything in moderation. Mm -hmm. Everything in moderation. Take a look at these uh, skies out there. It, you know, it started out a little cloudy. We were at 91 degrees by noon. So, that, you know, when you spend the whole afternoon with temperatures in the 90s, it just builds up all day long. 95 in Houston and Wharton, 96 in Sugarland, Columbus, Brenham, 97 up in Huntsville feels like 103, 103 in Sugarland, 103 in Galveston. Those feels like temperatures are going to continue. So do stay hydrated. Seriously, take those breaks, AC, shade, sunscreen, light clothes enhance, and always look before you lock. You certainly don't want to leave a pet or any child in a car. Those heat up so quickly in this kind of heat. We'll talk more about some tips later on. I tell you, I wish I had a lot of relief for this heat. I honestly don't. I think it's going to be even warmer as we move into this weekend. Oh. But as you guys like to say, it is the weekend, right? It is the weekend. It's all, it's almost here, yeah. And and what's the tip, Frank? If when you're thirsty, it's all you're already dehydrated, yeah, right? So drink a lot of water. Yeah, that's your body saying, I need I need it now. Yeah. So if you just if you get there before you're thirsty, you're ahead of the game. Okay, that right. sounds good, Frank. We'll see you in just a bit. Okay. Well, today is a big day here at KPRC2. We have teamed up with Gulf Coast Regional Blood Center and our corporate partner, Energy Transfer, for our summer blood drive. It was such a great success during the summer. You know, there is a critical need for blood donations in our community. It kind yeah. of dips. People are doing other things all day long. Donors have been coming here to our studio at KPRC here in Southwest Houston. While things have wrapped up for the day here at the station, you can still donate at donor centers close to you right now through June 13th. And we do have a list of the locations on our website. Click to Houston.com slash community. You can also head there to schedule your appointment. So please do it again, as Courtney just mentioned. Summertime is so critical, everyone is super busy, but we need the blood in the blood bank, so when you need it, it's there. Yeah, because it takes time to process, and so there's, there's definitely a few days there, um, so go on and, and uh, commit to life as yeah. well. So tomorrow is a very big day for Houston Life. We got to do a toast oh, to this. Yes. Because this is a big deal. This is a huge deal. So, you know, we love to take the show on the road and tomorrow we are doing so with none other than Queen Latifah herself. Triple threat. I mean, singer, rapper, actor, everything. She does it all and does it all very well. She's actually going to be here with us on the show tomorrow at 3 o'clock, but she's here in town uh, for a really great event. And what's awesome is she's shedding light on 
body positivity, people living with obesity and how to deal with that. And she only, she also talks about her own body shaming experiences that she had as a young actress, as a young star, trying to get out and get work. She has this amazing story about her first agent. I'm gonna save some of these things because it's gonna be a really great conversation with her tomorrow. Um, but I cannot wait to sit down. I'm, I'm, you know what's really interesting is I find a lot of women shame other women. It's And, and I'm not saying men don't, oh, but it's women shaming women. And here's the thing, everybody is built differently. So yeah. just embrace it, love it. She also has this daily ritual that she does in the mirror to talk to herself. So I'm so excited to chat with her about this. That's super cool. And you know what you just said about women shaming other women. If you go on social media, to, I'm so shocked uh, sometimes the things that people actually put in writing because mm -hmm. the internet lives forever. Would, how awkward would that be if your kid comes to you and they're like, mom, why would you, why would you write that horrible thing. Yeah, and let's talk about your portion in the show because I'm really excited about this interview. Okay, so I'm I'm so thrilled to bring you all this interview. We actually conducted the interview today, which will air tomorrow. So this is Ashley Turner Captain. She is the daughter of our mayor, Mayor Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner. And uh, you know, you know the mayor, Courtney, mm -hmm. I know the mayor we have for years. He's appeared right here on KPRC2 many times. Ashley, I knew she was going to be cool. She was so cool and you may remember she recently got married and she was body shamed after posting photos uh, even before the wedding of her engagement all of these trolls started writing these nasty things she has a blog about body positivity it's called curvy page it's p-a-i-g-e and she uh she uses these bad experiences to sort of infuse a bit of love and inspiration into her work and gosh she is just so so cool it was love to sit down with her. I can't wait for that conversation. By the way, of course, Queen Latifah, the rest of uh, the people that we said tomorrow on Houston Life, but Queen Latifah's event that's happening tomorrow is, it, you can you can go to this, it's called yeah. It's Bigger Than Me live event uh, featuring honest conversations about shame, bias, and stigma surrounding obesity, and the goal is really to encourage and empower others. It's happening tomorrow from seven to nine at the Rivera, and it's a really great event as well. So we get to sit down with her before that event here in Houston. Okay, very, very nice. And once you've gone to that event, I know uh, you've worked up an appetite for shopping. Oh, uh, listen, shopping is always a good idea, but tomorrow is national, well, this is National Outlet Mall Weekend. So what does that mean? It there are like extra discounts. Extra discounts, extra parties, all kinds Giveaways. of things happening. Um, and this is so cool because uh, it's happening all weekend long. And um, it will be great things happening um, over at the outlet mall. And Katie essentially, Mills. there are a couple locations, yeah. right? So Katie Mills, we have some info on your screen right there. And check this out. The first 500 shoppers on Saturday will receive a complimentary tote bag. Super, super cool. So get out there and go early. There's also the Houston Premium Outlets in Cyprus. Food trucks, a selfie station, in-store events, Saturday from 12 to 3 p.m. All kinds of family activities uh, in center court there. So get out and check it out. That is right. And also, by the way, guys, we have something really cool to offer our KPRC2 insiders. Of course, this is our prize wheel. We have a $500 gift card. We're adding a new wedge, and it's that Simon gift card. And there look at that. Go. We're going to have three wedges for one of our, in actually four we wedges four for one wedges. of our um, insiders to win. That's coming up tomorrow. And I'm super excited about this. Yeah. Who doesn't love a little boost of shopping? I mean, something tells me when that prize wheel is fun tomorrow, it's going to land on one of these 500 I hope spaces. so. Very, very cool. So get out and enjoy the weekend shopping at the local outlets. Actually, Brandon and I just did that last weekend. The boys always go. Orlando loves going there. I know. It's Great good deals stuff. on shoes and athletic gear, everything. And before you know it, you spent the whole day there. Somehow they always say, oh, we just came back from the outlet mall. I'm never invited. Yeah. They, they leave that detail out sometimes. It's hard to believe you're the pro shopper in the family. <laughs> All right, still to come on Houston Life, a frozen treat for the adults. How to make these refreshing, spicy pineapple paletas perfect for a hot summer afternoon. Mm. From how to choose the perfect paint color to how to find high end lighting for less. We have ex experts Danny Sio and Kelly Lamb. They're sharing their pro tips to make your house look luxurious on a budget. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to Houston Life. Now, if you want to learn how to make your home look expensive on a budget, you're in luck because co-principals at Rue Magazine, Danny Seo and Kelly Lamb, are in town for a special event, and they're with us. Yeah, and right now they're here to help us elevate our space with some of their effortless <laughs> hacks from their popular interior design magazine. Welcome to you both. Hi, guys. It's Hi. great to see you in our studio because we've seen you all over the telly for years. Danny, so you're what's called an environmental lifestyle expert. Yes, yeah, so what? What, that's what I put on my taxes. Okay, so, <laughs> so what does that mean? Immediate audit. <laughs> no. Red flag. <laughs> So I'm I'm sort of like the green version. I look for things that are sustainable, well made, fair trade, recycled. But at the end of the day, it's like as a gay man, I still wanted to look like super stylish and chic. Okay, and you're based in New York City. We're yeah. seeing some video oh. from your show, Naturally Danny. Many of our viewers have seen this. Uh, this was on the air for three seasons on NBC, streaming on Peacock. So this was essentially an educational series. It was, and you know, we actually filmed a lot here in Houston. No so way. I came here and filmed about six segments. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm quite familiar with this town and city and I love it, love it to pieces. Well, we love it too. And we're so glad that Houston, there's always a Houston connection, I always like to say. Um, Kelly, tell me a little bit about your style because we have your book in front of you here as well. And I mean, I love this marriage together that you guys have really joined forces. Yes, my work husband here. Oh, I get it. work husband. <laughs> I mean wife. Well, yeah, excuse me. Yes, sorry. <laughs> No, it's been really great. I mean, Danny is such a media expert. Rue was online for a decade, and we recently went to print, and I think people want that inspiration they can hold. And so now the book is out, the magazine is quarterly, just spreading beauty wherever we can. You're speaking my love language, because when I find something, I want to refer back to it. So if I'm yes. going to a store, or I'm trying to mirror something, I want to have it here. If I take a screenshot of it or looking at it online, I have a tendency to lose it. So where do you, Kelly, get your inspo from, oh would my. you say? That is a loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> but I think actually, you know, the book and the magazine feature so many designers that have become friends. And so I'm constantly inspired just by our community and seeing their work. I mean, I'm the writer, I'm the storyteller. I can't take credit for the beautiful design. So as they send it in, I'm endlessly inspired. And before we get into these step-by-step -step tips, uh, Danny and Kelly, let's talk about accessibility accessibility of design because uh, for you two I think it's safe to say you're showing real people in real living spaces and a lot of people might think oh I'm not a designer I don't know how to put a space together that's really where y'all come in with your work and that's the genius of Kelly and how she edits the magazine and writes the book is that we don't just show beautiful rooms she explains why it works how it works and how to replicate that and duplicate that. But sometimes it also means not about getting to look for less. It's not about creating a cheap space that looks nice. Right. Sort of explain like sometimes you should invest in yourself because you're worth it, your home is worth it. Right. Here's how to actually do it. Like a she's like a it's like a recipe in a cookbook. Oh. Basically is what she And does. you're gonna live in it every day, right? And see it. Oh. It's yeah. multiple it times. has to be your happy place. It does. Let's, I know you guys have some tips for us, as we keep yeah. saying, on a budget. So let's get started with some of our tips. And we're talking about paint first. Paint. I think that's probably the most confusing thing for a lot of people. Yeah. And you go to the wall at the store. Well, don't do that. So what I'd love to do, first of all, I love that you guys wear color. This oh, is, of like, course. I love Thank it you. so much because what we always say is go into your closet and pick a piece of clothing where you love that color and you look fabulous in that color. And the idea is that if you look fabulous wearing it, you're going to love being in a room that's exactly that color. So yeah. you can take a shirt or you could take, if you want to be luxurious, you can even take like a Tiffany box oh, or an that. Hermes orange box. Take it to the paint store and they will color match it perfectly what? for you. And they just have a little light reader. So I'll just pour some paint right here. And you'll see like this beautiful green color is the oh, same as this shirt. And when this dries, it actually dries a little bit lighter. So they have a light reader that goes, just scans it, tells the paint chip color, and boom, perfect match. But imagine an Hermes orange wall. Oh, I love it, it Danny. It would be beautiful. What about finish too, like eggshell, flat, satin? Well, that's a personal preference. I'm, okay. a, I'm, a, I'm a flat guy right now. I okay. love flat, flat, flat. But sometimes then I'll go like glossy, glossy, glossy. Oh. Yeah. So. Just kind of depends. It's a hot debate. I think there's never an answer. Uh, okay. And by the way, if you want to take your leftover paint and make chalkboard paint out of it, all you do is get something called um, powdered grout. This is in the tile section. Okay. Stir in a tablespoon into a small can like this, and you instantly have the grit in there that creates chalkboard paint. Are you serious? One step. You don't have to buy special chalkboard paint. You can take your old paint, mix them all together, create a black paint if you want black chalkboard paint, or oh my gosh. why not have green chalkboard paint? And right? then you can use actual chalk on your wall. Yep. Exactly. 
It's Very cool when you do that in a menu or a playroom or something yeah. like that, or in a kitchen for a menu. Um, the other one is purge your room. Oh. Are you I feel seen. <laughs> Are you speaking directly to me? <laughs> so the clutter needs to go. Like, what are we purging it's here? It's not an intervention. <laughs> we don't have enough Surprise, time for that. Surprise, Courtney. <laughs> I know. This is your life. Okay, how do we begin purging? Because this is something that is easier said than done. A lot of people struggle to let go of anything. Well, I'm a, a chair hoarder. Like, I collect. I love chairs. None of them match. I have so much. But that. you hold on to them and you think, oh, when I have a room that is for this, or if I create, like, a speakeasy in one corner, if you're not using it right now, you should probably just let it go. I think that our homes, as I said, it should be your happy place, right? And if it's cluttered, you're not seeing the things you love, and it's like... And then you're almost not it. entering that space either sometimes, yeah. because it's sort of like that confused mind says no, and you almost don't want to get started. Well, it makes you like kind of think, oh, I have a project ahead. You don't want that. You want right. to relax at home. Some people love projects, though. Is it the same rule of thumb, like they say with wardrobe, if you haven't worn it in six months or a year, get rid of it? Same rule for that chair? That's what I do, though admittedly I do, like sentimental items, don't let those go. But if it's something like, you know, just a vase that you got on the clearance rack and it doesn't really mean anything, it's time to let it go. I never and the tag's still on it, let it go. Let it yeah. go. Yeah. And make money selling it. Why True. Not, you know? Yeah. Oh, Facebook Marketplace or something like yeah. that. Treat yourself. Yeah. Okay, lighting, you're speaking my language. This is a sconce, right? Oh. So a sconce is a thing that hangs on a wall, not on yes. a ceiling. How do you score like high end lighting deals? Because that's something that y'all say having a nice accessory can complete a room. Well, it's like the jewelry of the room, like that perfect finishing piece. Um, and and this is a brand new collection from Hinkley Lighting. It's called Lark. So Hinkley is known for like being really high end, but with Lark, this light fixture is only $100. So really easy, quick upgrade, and it's that finishing touch to literally light up the room. And <laughs> quite honestly, couldn't you really start with something like that, just as opposed to furniture and different things, just adding yes. a different fixture? Yeah, yeah, and also it, it makes such a huge difference. And then Kelly, what's amazing, she's been teaching me how to actually do it myself. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> you don't My need to hire an electrician. Really you don't? You don't. It's really, I mean, make sure the power is turned off. Yeah. See, I no. think that But it's white to white, black to black. <laughs> yes. You connect the wires, put on a little nut, and there you go. Here's the DIY wires, and you and I are like, you know. Mm. It's going to be fine. <laughs> Until it's someone. not. Also, I noticed that this is a black and a brass light fixture, so I think that's interesting. The mixing metals trend is still in. Yeah. Yes. Still Thank going. Very much. Okay, so fabrics. Choosing performance fabrics. This is key because anytime you get a new piece that's upholstered, you want it to continue looking great. I mean, I, probably one of the worst things is spending all this time and money to get a brand new sofa, and then someone spills, you know, spills red wine or coffee or something all over it, and you're just like, ugh. Friendship over. And it's very hard to get. <laughs> yes. So one of the most important decisions you have to make when choosing a fabric for your sofa is to ask for a performance fabric. Okay. So performance fabric, it's not like the outdoor fabrics that feel like plastic. They actually, this is a beautiful like Chanel like boucle. It's lovely. This. So one brand that we love mm -hmm. at Rue is called Krypton, and okay. Krypton's really revolutionized performance fabrics yeah. where they come in so many different like textures and colors and everything, but come on, let me show you something. Okay, wow. let's so, see. I, it's not wine. I'm sorry. But it's, oh, okay. but it's cola. But I imagine mean, soda. It's, it's soda or whatever. So this is a white sofa, imagine. Look at this. So like what happens with red wine? It would soak, soak it right in. in. And look at this. It just beats <gasps> right off. No. Oh, wow. Do you want to try it? Yeah. Krypton, huh? It completely just beads right <gasps> off. And so what's amazing, like even with kids and pets, yes. it's not only stain resistant, but odor resistant too. So that's the fun thing about this. Look at this. Oh okay, my gosh. that's fantastic. Incredible. And listen, uh, to our viewers out there, so Designers Night is happening at our house today from 4 to 7 p.m. So this is immediately after Houston Life. There's the address on your screen. It's our house, Post Oak. Uh, you can go on down and hang out with Kelly and Danny. Maybe get some free uh, design advice. Will you, I know you're all presenting. We have chance to, to speak to people one-on-one? Yeah. On one? Yes, that, I mean, that's the highlight of it. We can all get together in person. We'll be signing some books, chatting, meeting in real life versus this digital world that right. we've existed. In person. I'm pouring the wine. <laughs> oh, perfect. We'll be there. Yeah. Handing out the gift bags. <laughs> and then who's the designer from Houston? Benjamin Johnston will be joining oh, us. Oh, we love wonderful. Benjamin. Yes. Yeah, Very that's nice. great. Very talented, so I'm excited. We'll pick each other's brains a little bit about publishing, design, all of it.
Very yeah. nice. Well, Kelly and Danny, thanks so much for stopping by Houston Life. Thank you, guys. We appreciate the Fun. tips very much. Thank I know. You. Keep pouring. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and a reminder that Home with Rue is available everywhere where books are sold. Definitely go check it out. It's beautiful. And if you'd like to learn more, visit the Scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. So to come on Houston Life fan favorite Jeff Goldblum. He was just on the Today Show. Now, guess what? He is on Houston Life. He's chatting all about his return to Jurassic World Dominion, which hits theaters tomorrow. Cannot wait for this. And family fun that's out of this world. We're giving you a look at Space Center Houston's Moon to Mars Festival. Is that Joe Sam on a rover? Oh, I think so. That and so much more when Houston Life continues. That is awesome. Welcome back to Houston Life. Space City, also known as Houston, is the epicenter of where space technology and exploration begins. And right now, Space Center Houston is hosting their three-day Moon to Mars Festival. And Joe Sam is there now getting a look at all the fun for the whole family. Hey, Joe. That's right, you guys. Yeah, you are so right about that. You already saw me on this bad boy rover right here. We're going to be talking more about that, but right now we want everybody to learn a little bit more about Moons to Mars Festival happening here at Space Center Houston. And I have the CEO and president here with me right now. William, this is going to be absolutely amazing. So many things that are happening and families can come out and really enjoy this festival. What's the importance of you guys creating this? We're trying to expose the public, particularly in the Houston region, about all the innovations happening here in our own community to help return uh, human to the to the moon, which is a proving ground for ultimately going on to Mars. It really is. And there are so many different innovative exhibits that they can really get interactive with. So people have some really good times here when they come to check out the festival. What's one of the favorite things that you want to say that people should check out? Well, we just pre are premiering a brand new exhibit on Artemis, which is NASA's goal of sending humans back mm -hmm. to the moon. So you can learn all about the Artemis uh, program and how that's going forward. But also something really cool right behind me of course, is the uh, the Aventuri uh, Astrolab rover. Yes. And uh, we've also got all kinds of other fun activities. We've taken our whole back area with live music. We've also got this whole STEM tent that's air conditioned, oh, which yes. I think is really important <laughs> on these hot days. So many, so much fun happening right now. So when you spoke about this rover, I have to hop on. Before we run out, I have to hop on with my boy Tommy up here. And you guys, this is a three day festival that's gonna be kicking off tomorrow at nine o'clock. There are so many great things that are happening here. Tommy, let's get this bad boy going. Right. And can you tell us exactly what are we on right now and how much fun it's gonna be for families to come check this out? All right, so this is Flex. This is a prototype of the most versatile and largest lunar rover ever created. Um, it is so versatile we can carry multiple types of payloads, small sats, eventually a robotic arm, and this crew stand that we're riding on right now. Oh, and families are going to be able to come and check this out as well. You guys, we're going to have so much information about this when we come back. We're going to be checking out some more of the exhibits that are happening here at the festival that's going to kick off tomorrow. And I'm going to be speaking to some of the families that are already here enjoying some of those exhibits right now. We're going to send things back to you guys. Courtney and Derek, how cool is this? I love it. <laughs> Almost like the moon, only a little greener, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Less craters. <laughs> Thanks so much. We'll see you in just a little bit. Okay, you know, it is summer season, so time for a good Sav Blanc. Oh, yeah. Cheers to you, my friend. Cheers to you. I need my sunglasses. I know, right? Little bright. Neon. I, love I know. It. I love Still it. ahead from Sauvignon Blanc to margaritas, even frozen treats. We got some really great, easy recipes to help you cool off this summer. Angie picks them so well. But first, let's check in with Lauren Kelly, who's giving us a sneak peek of what is sure to be a summer blockbuster. Hi, Lauren. I am counting down to go see this one, you guys. Jeff Goldblum returns to theaters this weekend for Jurassic World Dominion, and he has given us a sneak peek of what fans can expect from the movie ahead of the big release. That's when Houston Life returns. Welcome back to Houston Life. Courtney and Derek back with you at 3.30. Cheers to that. Oh, let's, let's have a toast. There are so many things to toast. You know, there are so many bad things in the world. I like to focus on the good. Me too. And today is a good day to do that on today this Friday. Today is a very good day. In life. All right, let's check in with Keith, Lauren, and Frank for a look at what is coming up at the top of the hour. Cheers. Hey, yeah, oh, it's here. not even the weekend. The you guys, you look like you're ready for it. But I love that dress, Courtney, as well. well Goodness. Very Thank bold. you. We're going to Boca <laughs> after, the, after the show today. <laughs> and, and Derek, the shirt, amazing. Thank love you. that on you, buddy. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> wow. 
They look, they look like good summer colors because we certainly are in the thick of summer. My goodness, oh, yeah. another hot one today. It is here, yeah. Frank, that, it's, yeah, it's that hot. outfit's definitely reflective. <laughs> yes, That's indeed. for sure. I know. Look at that sunshine. It is a hot sunshine, a hot sky out there. 96. I'm forecasting 98 before it's done. 96 in Sugarland, 91 in Galveston. Those feels like numbers. 103 at Sugarland and Galveston. Not much better up around Pearland, Conroe, Huntsville. 98, 100, 103, 97 in Huntsville right now. So stay hydrated for sure. Take those breaks, AC, shade, sunscreen, light clothes and hats. Look before you lock. Certainly never leave anyone or any pets in a locked car. So take those walk is, uh, walks in the morning, evening, seven second rule for pavement. If you can't leave your hand back of your hand on the pavement for more than seven seconds, then it's too hot for their paws. So get on the grass, take those breaks. Water bowls need to stay full. That's for sure. Here's my forecast. 98, 98, 96 and 94. And I have no idea what Breck is doing. He's either about to bathe himself or he's making his own beer, one of the two. In the meantime, 100 for tomorrow, 101 Saturday, 100 on Sunday. Notice the records are 100, 101, 101. The feels like numbers are going to be at 106, 105, and 104. That for us is not heat advisory criteria, which is actually we need feels like numbers of 108. So we may not get there, but some of you might, and we're going to be so close. Be advised, it's going to be dangerously hot as we move into the weekend. So I'll have that, talk more about that, how warm those Gulf waters are and the tropics, as well as how long, how long is this going to last yeah. out of the 10 days coming up? All right. Advisory yeah. or not, be advised. Through yep. September? Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Third week of September. Is, is that All right, right, Frank, thank you. Here's a look at some of the stories that we're working on, making headlines this afternoon. The House Committee investigating the January 6th Capitol riot will hold the first in a series of hearings. The committee will lay out its early findings tonight. It is an anticipated look at evidence the panel has gathered over the last year. A charter flight carrying baby formula has arrived in Texas. This is the plane as it landed in Dallas earlier today. How many pounds were on that flight and what happens next? Plus, with inflation through the roof and families struggling to pay for groceries and other essentials, there is growing popularity with the concept of buy now, pay later. While it may work for some in the short term, there are long term problems that you need to be aware of before you go do it. We're going to take a look at the pros and the cons before you buy. Huh. I'm, I've been seeing that a lot more lately yeah. with the buy now, pay later. It's interesting. I actually have that Apple card, the digital one. I don't use it much, but yeah. it's interesting. They're trying to reinvent the wheel, right? So. Yeah, layaway, I guess. Make right. It a, yeah. Yeah. We'll somewhat of a comeback. Goes. Get that right. money how they can. All right, guys. We'll see you at 4 o'clock. All right. Well, the brand new film, Jurassic World Dominion, roars literally into theaters tomorrow. And not only are the dinosaurs back, but get this, so is most of the original cast. I'm so excited about this. It looks amazing. Of course, our girl Lauren Kelly got a chance to chat with some of the movie's OG stars ahead of tomorrow's big release. Hi, Lauren. I don't know if you guys are excited as I am for this movie, but it's been 29 years since 1993's original Jurassic Park hit theaters, and now everyone from Jurassic Park and Jurassic World are uniting for Jurassic World Dominion. I got to catch up with Jeff Goldblum all about what fans can expect from the new film. Don't, Don't move. Jeff Goldblum, um, hello. You were just visiting Houston here, and I'm wondering why I didn't get a phone call. Hey, what's up? I'm in town. Lauren, I, yes, we did visit. We did. We played um, uh, music. I was there playing my piano. We were at a beautiful uh, theater, and. I, I kept calling you, but it was busy. You must be, you must have been on the phone the whole time. You know. Uh, <laughs> Jeff, the OG Jurassic Park, we're back here with Jurassic World Dominion. You gotta tell our viewers all about it. I'm like getting goosebumps thinking about how excited I am. I'm, I've got goosebumps too, just talking to you about it and hearing about your goosebumps. Uh, <laughs> it must be catchy. Uh, it's exciting. Oh, wait till you see it. When are you going to see it? I'll bet you're going to see it on Tuesday. Is that correct? Uh, you know what? How did you know that? Oh, my gosh. You knew I'm very, that. I'm very gifted. I'm very tuned in 
to uh, everything there. I think you're going to like it. I, we humbly offer it at your feet uh, and, and hope you like it. Yeah, I think it's a humdinger. It's, it's something. We're back with uh, Laura Dern and Sam Neill and Isabella Sermon and B.D. Wong and Omar C. and Dewanda Wise and Mama Duanche. It is something. Wait till you see. The craziest part is 1993, 29 years ago. You guys didn't even have a cell phone to kind of help you out, you know, while you were with the dinosaurs. How does all of this new technology, like Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard, you know, they kind of had it easier, you know, in the world. But how does it feel kind of coming back in with all of this extra added technological help? Very interesting. Well, you know, I don't think our story, you know, Ray, you'll see, you'll see, I don't want to give anything away, but it's not as if our story rests on the help of newfangled technology, but good old human bravery, ingenuity, and deep caring, resourcefulness, and collaboration. Jeff, is it if it came down to the OG cast of you and Laura and Sam and BD versus Bryce and Chris in a race against who would beat the dinosaurs in, in just true instinct running, who, who would be the winner there? <laughs> well, we're not in, we certainly do never pit ourselves against each other. We're not in combination. We're, we're a delicious <laughs> gumbo or a kind of Cobb salad. I am, when I'm motivated, you should see me. I'm lightning fast. Uh, you I'm know lightning. what? You got... You got the height, you got the length in your legs. I truly believe it. Well, one of these legs, you know, my inseam is 36. So when I take a stride, oh my gosh, I can cover a lot of ground pretty quick. It's like you're a T-Rex or something. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. I know. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum, thank you so much. Movie's going to be huge. We cannot wait for all of our Houston Life viewers to go and check it out. And hey, next time you're in Houston, don't forget, pick up the phone and give us a call sometime. I'm going to try to call again. I'm going to call again. And then if that doesn't work, I'm just coming over and knocking. <laughs> Sounds great, Jeff. Thank you so much. And best of luck with the new film. So much. I'll see you soon. Thank you. For a few more fun behind the scenes secrets from Jeff on the Jurassic World Dominion uh -oh. set, just log on to HoustonLife.tv. <laughs> it's amazing how we got the stars from the film to come by our set today. Look right at that. Here. Wow. The, the, the T-Rex, is, is both T-Rexes <laughs> are here today and they have such a busy schedule this week and I'm just so glad they made time for us. <laughs> wow, I mean, y'all must be so tired. Why don't you have a seat? Come on. Oh, you, you just yeah. need a little step Sweet up. Baby. Oh, maybe you can help oh, us. There you go. Can you take a seat? seat? So good Let's to see you. Let's see, move your tail. Move your tail. So good to okay. see you. Just, just can you sit oh. or just uh, what do you think? Clean. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Are you comfy? <laughs> Give us a thumbs up if you're comfy. Comfy? This is great. It's like a family photo. Look, it's a, it's like a holiday card. Tyra's not moving. Let, let's check in with Joe. It is like a look, T Rex here. That's alive. He, Joe's at Space Center Houston. <laughs> I sure am, you guys. We are talking about it from rovers to the STEM tent. There are so many different activities that you can enjoy here where you come and check out their Moon to Mars Festival that's going to be happening tomorrow. And look at you guys. I'm an astronaut. <laughs> Houston Life will be right back. Welcome back here to Houston Life. We are checking out Space Center Houston's Moons to Mars Festival that's kicking off tomorrow. We're inside their STEM tent right now where they're going to be talking about the importance of why we explore, the importance of why we do that, and of course, how to get that done. So we just finished checking out the huge rover that we got a chance to ride on. Now we move to the miniature rovers, and this is like a video game. This is their Viper robotic experience. You can see a lot of different families already having a good time playing around with it. And I'm with, what's your name? Alec. Alec is going to try and put this into my rover right here. This is so cool. Let's see if you can get this done. All right, here we go. I'm backing mine up for you. All right, and just let me know. Oh! We got it. We made it happen. So this has been really, really cool for a lot of people to come and experience. Tell me why you decided to come and check out the festival. Um, well, honestly, I was visiting from out of town, and I really liked the idea of just space and exploration. And when I found out that the Moon to Mars uh, festival was happening, I had to check it out. So you know it kicks off tomorrow. You're getting a little preview of what's happening here today. What has been your favorite thing thus far? I love I was able to see a suit that is used for training purposes and it's actually a real suit it's uh, not behind some sort of 
glass panel or whatever, you can go up to it, you can touch it, you can mess with it, and it's really cool just to see that kind of stuff up close. It really is. Thank you so much for being able to do this with me, and thanks for being able to get this done, too. You rock that out. You are a professional video gamer. I already know that. <laughs> We're going to go and come and talk to one of the little kids here. Hey, little guy, how are you enjoying the game so far? It's been really good. It's been good? Oh, I know you're having a good time, and I like your shades, too. You see, you guys, there are so many families out here that are having a great time checking this out ahead of time before the festival kicks off. Check out the information that we have for you guys. If this is going to be a three-day festival. It's going to kick off tomorrow from 9 o'clock. You guys can come and check this out in the morning, and then on Sunday, there's going to be a cutoff time at 6 p.m. is when it's going to end, so you want to make sure you go out there and get your tickets. They have all the information on our website, HoustonLife.tv, of what to bring and what you can bring when you come out here and what you cannot bring when you come to check out the Moons to Mars Festival. We're going to have all that for you and it's time to go and have some more fun because I absolutely am enjoying myself, Courtney and Derek, playing this robotic experience. This is so much fun and y'all know I love video games. Back to you guys. <laughs> It is so awesome, and I love that everything is hands-on for the whole family. It's great, Joe. Very nice, Joe. Don't have too much fun out there. I would love that. So good. Something for everyone out there. Okay, coming up on Houston Life, our friend and television star, Tangie <laughs> Patton of Good Taste TV. She is here. There she is, one of our favorite guests. Today, she's got some refreshing sips to help us make it through this long, hot summer. We are patio ready, and so is Tangie. Cheers to happy hour in Studio B when Houston Life returns. Y'all, cheers to Friday Eve and happy hour in <laughs> Studio B. Wait, Tangie, where's your drink? This is I, there's something wrong with this picture. We're going right? to have to fix that. We are back now with this woman. You know and love her, Tangie Patton of Good Taste TV. Today with some easy to make summer sips to help us cool off. But first, I believe we're going to start with the gear. Is that right? Yes. So we're, we're planning everything outdoors right now. And it, boy, it's going to be a scorcher. I know. But if you're prepared. If you're prepared, you're going to be okay. And I've brought some fun things. Yeti is everyone's favorite. Uh, it's just one of those iconic brands. Fun colors, new colors colors every season. So these are from Cool Linscum. So the hot good. pink is really fun. I love this coral. So that's a great way if you're going uh, to the beach, outside, to the backyard, whatever. Right. Put your things in there and they're going to stay cold. I know. Great. And you know what? That, that, that's a great Father's Day gift as well. Yeah. I have one of yes. these and I love it because you can also put ice in it. Yes. Yep. Oh, it's and if you just live in your... Texas, it is a must. It's a necessity. You've got to invest in one of those, yeah. and they have the best colors of coolants. And the big sure. giant um, cooler in front. Does that hold a full wine bottle? I mean, I may have. I, it looks may like not it holds a few that. wine bottles. <laughs> Sounds like you've tried it before. I'm just saying, I might have read the. You know, I don't it, know. I've heard. It, yeah, yes, it does. It does. So fun things too. The the wine you guys started the show with for summer Sauvignon Blancs. Yeah. They cannot be beat. This is Giesen at H E B. Uh, less than twenty bucks. Probably in that fourteen fifteen dollar price range but I love a Sauvignon Blanc this one is from um, New Zealand it's lovely or it's great and then what you're drinking right now is a passion fruit sparkler mm -hmm. I always go to Josh Prosecco by itself or it makes an incredible bloody brunch mix, you right. know? If you're doing a Bloody Mary, always offer something fun with the Prosecco as well. So you this, just poured the Prosecco with this papaya. It's Prosecco. You can add a little orange liqueur or not. Mm. And then Goya makes these amazing fruit products. They do a variety of flavors, but this is the passion fruit, and it's one of my very favorites. Yeah, I very, very love good. this. It's lovely, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And these it's glasses, fun. too, by the way, plastic, and they're beautiful. Oh, cool. Again, cool and scum, of course. So many fun things for the patio. Mm -hmm. You won't know they're plastic. Uh, Vin Glace, I love this Houston success story. They've got some fun new wine glasses and colors out as well. And it's Beautiful. a glass insert, which is yes. lovely as well. That's okay. the big selling point. It keeps yeah. it cold, but it's glass on the inside. So it doesn't big change deal. the taste. Yeah. Okay. Margarita popsicles. Yes, yes. ma'am. <laughs> Count me in. <laughs> These are fun. And they're they're margaritas, but they have a twist. So if you guys want to help me make okay. them, we're gonna start with pineapple. Mm -hmm. Now you could also use pineapple juice if you wanted to, oh. if you don't have the chunks of pineapple. What about pineapple in a can? You can use, yeah, that works. Any You're just trying to get that acidic, bright pineapple flavor. Okay. So um, tequila, lemon juice, okay, or lime juice, I should say. A little bit of lime zest. Lime zest. And a little bit okay. of Lots syrup. of tequila. 
Perfect. And Serrano. So it depends on how hot do you want to go. Uh -oh. Okay. Right? So am I dumping all this choose in? Choose your okay. level. Yeah. Choose your temperature. Uh oh. Okay. We blend it all up. So all right. Put the lid on. Yeah. Hopefully. Oh, there we go. There, there we go. All right. If you were at home, you would blend it a lot more. But you buy these easy little molds. They're available these. all over. Michael's has them. Amazon. They're very easy to find. Silicone molds. And you will pour the popsicle in there and stick the sticks in. I've got detailed instructions at goodtaste.tv. And you are left with one of Thank the most you. delightful things. Another fun thing you can do, if you don't want to do popsicles, Pour them in shooter glasses. Oh, oh Put them in the freezer and pull them out right before your party. I did this recently. Had these frozen overnight, sat them on the patio. We did a fun crab boil, and they were ice cold before the party started. Oh, and they word. stayed cold for a good half hour, an hour. I mean, it was your starter, so it was yeah. fun. Oh, that's These fun. are so good. And the pineapple flavor, the sweetness of, of the pineapple with the punch of the serrano pepper, it it's is fun. so good, to But it's yeah. just enough heat. Just you know? enough. You're it's not, not burning too much. your mouth. Yeah. And if you want to do a version for the kids, leave the tequila out. Yeah. And, and right. they're still fun. You know, AJ so might like them. They're oh, spicy. AJ, AJ wow. love it. He loves a good spice. Okay. If you don't want to do anything in your kitchen because of the heat, head out to Herbe. Hugo Ortega's outsource, uh, outsource <laughs> yes. exactly. Herbe, fun, wonderful Mexican street food. All of Hugo's and Tracy's it's things amazing. are top shelf. But these are some of the fun things. This is an appetizer platter. I've had um, this. Yes, mm -hmm. the platos botana, beautiful, just an arrangement of little taquitos, flautas, Mexican street corn. Street corn, it's my favorite. Delicious. And the mini taquitos, I mean, everything. It con I love how the presentation, it's it beautiful. feels like you're in your own kitchen, well, your mom's cooking. Speaking of presentation, I know check out Listen. this. I know you're a fan of that as well. I am. Uh, we call it the sailboat, which is not the technical <laughs> term, but this is the chicharron. Ch chicharron, yes, a giant chicharron. So you just kind of pull off. You Can know, I see it. Which oh, one? so you, oh, so you break this off. Yes. Yes. You, yes. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. You break it off, and then you have the salsa and the guac. Yeah. And then there, uh, Hugo's margaritas are always the best. They are so good because they're not sugar bombs, right? Mm -mm. The jefecita is over there, delicious. Uh, the tagine salts, it's just fun. Perfection. The jefecita, which means little boss, right? Little boss. Little boss in yeah. Espanol. Si. Salud. 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 Mm. Very, very Salud. Nice. So again, Herbe, pretty new, <laughs> so you probably haven't had a chance to check it out yet. You may have seen it. <laughs> I got a little okay. bit of my chicharron along with my, yeah. my drink. You okay, jefecita? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very good. You that. And it really is uh, like Ugo is just a treasure yeah. here in Houston, Tangi. So yeah, I, I, I love that man. Incredible talent and so much success. But he is the most kind, gentle, modest. Yeah. Uh, he, he's amazing. And Tracy, you talk about talent. Uh, it oozes from every pore. She's amazing. So truly a success story in Houston as well. And Absolutely. And what I love about Herbe is that it is street food. It's casual. It's family yes. stuff. I mean, just it's it's the restaurant that everybody should be at in Uptown Park well, is fantastic. It is, and I think right now we're all watching that extra, you know, dollar here and there yeah. because of gas, for yeah. one thing. Um, I think the prices on this are just such a value for what you get. You get a lot of food and great food, and you don't leave hungry. That's no, true. So you can go out to eat one night. You can stay at home and make popsicles another day. <laughs> Tangie yeah. Patton, it's great to see you. And a brand new season of Good Taste TV is yes. coming up soon. You're in production right now, crisscrossing the state. We are in production right now. We'll be in Dallas coming up, West Texas. We're in Houston real soon. Uh, yeah, we're, we're all over the state of Texas, the Hill Country. But yeah, our new season starts in October. We awesome. Well, there's AJ right there in the back. You want to come up? Come on up. Uh, he loves your show, Tangie. I know you two are, are pretty I'm good friends. I'm a big agent. He's an incredible sh little chef in the making, right? I know. This guy knows food. He's quite amazing. Thank well, you. listen, it's lovely to see you, Tangie. You always bring the best you. ideas. You want to make some popsicles later? Sure. Sound good? Why yeah. don't you try one of those right there? No, oh, those have the whole in it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. no. I want pineapple, though. Yeah, I know. you can How do that. How about chicharrones? Oh, yeah. I know you like that.
I love Uncle Tangie. Derek is fired. Uh, Tangie, it's great to see you. It's lovely Thanks. to see you. Happy summer. Thank <laughs> Happy you for all summer. the great ideas Absolutely. and the food. Don't forget to watch Tansy's show, Good Taste with Tangy, weekend mornings right here on KPRC2. Set your DVRs if you're not up, 5.30 a.m. All right, coming up after the break, a look at what's coming up on tomorrow's show, including a Hollywood star coming to Houston. And as we head to break, let's check in with Kevin Frazier for a look at what's coming up on Entertainment Tonight. Hi, Kevin. Courtney and Derek tonight on ET, we have new Britney wedding details. Is she saying I do today? Plus, the original goose Anthony Edwards reacts to the new Top Gun movie. You don't want to miss it. That's tonight at 630 right here on KPRC 2. Now sit tight. Houston Life will be right back. Tomorrow on Houston Life, we have another great show planned for you. We are live on location with Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah is in town, and we're broadcasting our entire show from her event venue. Very exciting. Plus, Brooke Burke will also be at that event. She will join Houston Life as well. It'll be great to see those ladies. And in the meantime, Tangi Patton, AJ, <laughs> thanks for stopping by Houston Life. I know. Happy summer, everybody. Happy yeah. summer. Yes, I know. Thanks for joining today. us today on this Friday Eve. Yeah, we're going to hand it off to Keith and Lauren in Studio A. Okay, right. yes. Love to see that. Love to see AJ as well. Third. I like the green dresses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Green's the color today. Yes, beautiful. <laughs>